Okay, I feel a little bit silly. Um, thank you, kind internet user who suggested trigger off of channel one, the same output from both channels of the signal generator going into both channels of the scope. They, uh, they both work fine. Um, I'm wondering if I can trigger off external trigger. See, that's the problem. Another problem. I can't, these, these buttons don't do anything. Um, a, ha a bit of hacking around on, I mean, this is just closing contacts. For the price, <laughs> it seems to be doing something. Um, yeah, maybe maybe I will spend a little bit of time trying to figure out uh, something for the front panel. Um, or, I don't know. What should I do with it? How Seven looks like it goes to the other side of this switch. You're there, and what do I have? I have. Okay, so the um, the LED strip, sorry, not LED strip. Okay, so luckily the um, the circuit board on the uh, the front of the scope, the flex circuit, is easy enough to um, uh, look at in, and see where all of the uh, the wiring is going. So what it is is a four by three. Um, keypad matrix that is missing two keys. So I've labeled the various keys V1, V2, V3, V4, corner one, horizontal one, horizontal two, horizontal three, horizontal four, and horizontal five. So that's V1, V2, V3, V4, corner one, H1, blah, blah, blah. And Basically, it lays out like this. Now I'm going to neaten this up a bit. So, realistically, all, all, <laughs> what we need to do is um, wire up a little um, keypad matrix, and we should be able to um, get the uh, the keypad working, <clears throat> or a replacement keypad. And then it'll just be figuring out how to mount these um, <clears throat> mount reasonable switches onto this panel without destroying things or because um, sphere doesn't have any replacement um, uh, uh, bezels for the uh, the scope and neither does uh, I think it's quest electronics I forget anyways I, I did a quick search today to try and find uh, whether or not there was a replacement keypad for the front panel and uh, so yeah I actually I think I, I might uh, wire this uh, wire this up quickly and slap her in there and see if um, see if that doesn't work well, on the other hand, why wouldn't I just slap this in here? It's a 0.1 pin spacing. I think it um, will f put in, go in there quite nicely. And then I just have, uh, just for testing. And then later on, I can figure out whether or not it actually works. So, or figure out whether or not I'm going to actually redo the front panel. So, yeah. Contact. Oh, look at that. Yeah, okay. So that's... Or can I just have to figure out what the mapping is between the various... Yeah, so there we go. That'll work. So now I just have to um, wire up some switches. So yeah, it's just a different pinout on the uh, the membrane switches versus the uh, pins on the inside there. So some jumpering will need to take place. But yeah, let's try, let's try that. Okay, so I'm getting closer. That's cancel right there. Where is off and on? There we go. On. Off. Oh. Why is that not working? I wonder if it's because I'm... Oh! <laughs> Making sure that the, the wires are hooked up is probably a good idea. Now, where was I? 
Uh, that's cancel, right? Yep. Save set up. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Um, you know, I shouldn't be too surprised that somebody was about to throw that out because somebody's about to throw this out. I mean, it's only a 25 megahertz scope. Um, so, well, that's a hundred, but still of the same vintage and whatnot. So, mm, I don't know. I guess they could have just gotten, couldn't invest the energy to get rid of it to somebody who needs it. <laughs> that's horrible. You can get a fan out of this old power supply. Okay, that fits in nicely. The bottom tabs are intact, and I'll just put tie wraps around there to, for mechanical. Except it is the wrong voltage. Okay, so I need to figure out buttons for here. Let's see why that wouldn't work. What I'm replicating shouldn't make it too hard to do the uh, routing since I already have the schematic laid out right here. Hallelujah. Um, email Scott Williams, scott at wfmu.org. And um, yeah. And there it is. I, guess I think that is right the now. temporary oh, replacement until I can find an actual front panel. Jam on my show. Okay. Moment of truth. Let's plug this puppy in. See what we got. This is all tests. There we go. No. Did I plug those in in the wrong order? I think I must have. Yes, yellow goes to the top. Yellow goes to the top. Okay, I think that's better. Yeah, there we go. And cancel. Very good. All right. <laughs> okay. I think that is as far as I'm going to get.
for now. Okay. Sigjin sitting up top. And it's late. Uh, what am I doing here? Channel one. Automatic. There we go. 40 hertz on the bottom we've got 10,000 so we'll have to change that uh, channel 2 frequency There we go. All right, so uh, cursors on, off, toggle. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so it's a bit of a rude hack. Um, if I did not have an oscilloscope already, I would be over the moon with joy to have been able to get this thing. So, um, yeah, I cannot um, say that I'm disappointed. Well, I uh, wasn't expecting to do that over the last couple of days, but there it is. And um, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and uh, talk to you guys later. Bye for now.